Let us consider a scenario where a business is at a high risk of a data breach or the system is under attack by an intruder. In such a situation, security measures such as firewalls and antiviruses are considered robust. But these measures are only reliable where there are no budget constraints, and sometimes passwords are also not reliable enough for this. Now how do you tackle this scenario without compromising your end-user login experience? To overcome this issue, risk-based authentication is required as it secures your user identity and makes the end-user login experience seamless. What benefits does this offer? Let's examine this with an example scenario. Suppose someone wants to access your application and they have the right set of login credentials, but that request is unusual. An unusual request could look like a login attempt from a country where you don't do business, or there is an access request for a sensitive file. Risk-based authentication assesses the probability of account compromise with each login session. In a scenario where the request seems unusual, the user is asked to undergo additional authentication steps to get access of the system. These supplementary authentication factors, such as biometrics, ensures that the request has come from a valid user. RBA adds an extra layer of security for user authentication to eliminate the risks of improper access and suspected login attempts. This is possible as it only allows authorized users based on the risk factors and policies set by the admin. Risk-based authentication helps you to assess and manage the dangers inherent in the request. How do you determine whether to grant or deny access to a user during a login attempt? When a user attempts to sign in, our adaptive engine analyzes factors such as device information is the user trying to log in from a registered or known device? Location. Is the user in the same building that houses the server? Time zone. Is this user trying to log in from another time zone? Network. Suspicious IP address. Is the person logging in from a familiar IP address? Based on all these above factors, the system makes a decision. The user can either log in the usual way. The user can simply log in through a password to gain access. Offer proof. The user can go through an additional authentication via the second factor authentication. Or deny. Deny the user their requested information access. What is the best way to get foolproof security? With our solution, you can empower your business with real-time risk assessment by incorporating adding additional authentication factors to guard against potential breaches. First, IP restriction. It is a feature to enable access or restrict access to your website and web apps based on individual IP addresses or a range of IP addresses. Second device restriction, allowing access to only specific known devices by the admin. The third is location restriction, selecting a specified location from where the user access can be authorized and not from anywhere else. Fourth, time restriction, restricting access to the resources based on the time of login attempt. With time-based access, granular control can be established. This permits or denies access pertaining to the set time period. Based on the above factors, configured by the administrators, the adaptive engine decides whether to allow or deny login attempts. This secures your overall system and data from unauthorized access attempts or hacks. Unlike passwords, risk-based authentication tells you everything you need to know about the user. It makes it easier for the right people to gain the right levels of access. Using RBA, you can secure any of your applications, be it your enterprise business apps like Office 365, Google Workspaces, or Azure AD, or even collaboration apps such as Dropbox, Slackbox, etc. Securing them all has never been easier. I hope I was able to make you understand what is adaptive authentication. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments section or you can directly connect with us at idpsupport at securify.com.